Welcome on board the Master Stereo. Um, sorry for my voice. I have a bit of the, a cold at the moment. Anyway, let's uh, let's talk about how things have gone up until now. I'll come over to Pyro and have a look. Yesterday, which was uh, day 12, uh, we caught up to full moon a little bit. Uh, he got caught in a little bit of a uh, a wind shadow here off the island, the new island, and uh, we continued out to the east uh, with some course corrections as the wind dictated. Uh, I wanted to come out a little bit further, and I'll show you why soon. We have Eon and uh, Tommy Cods, who have gained considerably overnight, and uh, but they still are probably 12 hours behind at present. On the leaderboard, we have uh, Black Shark, who's on the, the west coast, Snool Hover, who's over there as well, Bill Moon, who is who has that uh, westerly position to us, even though we're north north of him, Alistan, who's coming through past uh, through the islands through here. Can't see him again now, but he's up here somewhere, coming up through past Lay, and. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, yeah, we've talked about those guys. Jasper and El Patron are down, um, down here as well in this area here. So they're they're coming up past here as well. On the uh, on the easterly side, we have Vitali and uh, Thax Axel and Nemo. So they've come all the way around past this island group. And they've got pretty good wind coming up as well, so they've they've actually done pretty well overnight as well, according to my calculations. We at the present, let me just increase this. We at the present are on a on a beam. We're getting between uh, 90 and 105 TWA. We're on a fixed course which is what we've been liking to do recently. We've got a very strong wind current at the moment, which as you can see is pushing us off around about uh, 8, 9, 10 degrees at times. So we're still heading out to a, on an easterly uh, run, northeasterly run at the moment. Why is that? Well, because uh, in windy, uh, while uh, full moon can sort of come up this way, we need to come across the little doldrums here and uh, try and cut across. At the moment where it's it's pretty much fine to do this, this is the point that I've, I've anchored. It's about uh, 16 hours from now and hopefully in 16 hours from now, which I'll just pull up, we'll have uh, a nice run up. I wanted to get to the apex of this here, but uh, it's going to be okay. The, the wind is changing and if I keep on coming through, you can see that the wind's not too bad. Uh, I'll probably have, we'll probably have to adjust here and come out a bit more, but um, that's the plan. We're going to have to turn at some point during here and see if we can get up towards the the west again. I was talking to Tommy last night and saying to him, you know, it's, it's not just about the luck, you also have to put your boat in the right position. I'm not sure we do have our boat in the right position, but it's going to be close between Full Moon and ourselves to see who gets across this first. Uh, if he has an easy passage across, across here, we're going to find ourselves behind again. At present, we're uh, We're, we're, we're about uh, 18 nautical miles difference, uh, but you can see on the uh, the north south here we have a, a whole degree, which is pretty good. But then we have a whole degree that way as well, so it's a it's a northwest east south type thing. Well, you know what I mean. And. Uh, 
let's just uh, come over and have a look at where these guys are. We've got a nice tropical cyclone which developed and then has died or is dying at present. And this one over here is heading down towards New Zealand, so uh, didn't give these guys too much of a speed bump. Uh, in the in the middle here, we're going to have a little bit of uh, of blue blob appearing. Yeah. So these guys behind here are going to get unfortunate in the fact that they're going to be be caught in this for a while, whereas these guys look look pretty good. Let's go to QTVLM where I quickly set up what I normally do. Um, some routes for some people. Black Shark here. Uh, we have Alistan here. Full Moon in white. Um, Master Syria in the orange here. And I've got Vitaly over here in the purple. And it's pretty interesting stuff. I will quickly just do it in two hour blocks. Hopefully uh, I'm not too far out because I have to use the whole map here. Let's see how we go. Excuse me again. Anyway, as you can see, Masters to Styria and Full Moon here, pretty equal. Uh, Alistan had to come through here. We've got Black Shark coming up through past uh, Krakatoa and having to tack all the way up past Malaysia. Quite a hard task. And uh, it's neck and neck between us two at present. And we finally catch up to him and it's just the, the bump in. So that's in about 10 days time, although my calibration of uh, QTV LM in the sailboat is not completely right at the moment. So as you can see, Black Shark uh, probably a day behind here. So let's just uh, close that again. Why is that not stopping? Stop, stop, stop. Back to the beginning. And uh, let us have a look at the root comparator at all ETA and as you can see we've got full moon first uh, master stereo second too close to call there's you know only 25 minutes 24 minutes in it we will be uh, we will be sailing a further distance as we usually do um, Vitaly has the longest distance to sail uh, he comes in around about two days after us and then uh, we have Black Shark two more days after that. But, you know, the, the wind has changed so much that this is just a bit of fun to see how things are going. Uh, anyway, with that said, I hope that you have and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I'll be online and offline. And uh, good luck to you all.